Eat game five next Wednesday here at Golden One. Watch parties all over the Golden One Center. We're not the only exciting spots to watch the Kings try and steal uh, game three tonight. Sutter Children's Center in Sacramento put on its own viewing party for young kids to cheer on the Kings while they're there. Fox 40's Mason Murrow with more on that story. Hospital staff at Sutter Children's riling some antsy kids up for another Kings playoff game. This is all they've talked about all day long. Enough of the talking and more of the action on the court. Immunocompromised kids in this swing at Sutter Children's waved foam fingers. Like that beam, baby. And clattered cowbells donated by the Sacramento Kings. Get some of the excitement in this place that can sometimes be really difficult to be in. Anything that brings a smile to his face makes my heart smile. Tanya Blosser's seven-year-old son, Kodiak, grins from ear to ear behind that face mask. Yeah. Oh. But the King's kiddo's week wasn't a slam dunk until tonight. Just up to yesterday, he was in the bed, so not wanting to get out. So today, for him to have something to want to get up and get excited. It couldn't have happened at a better time. Kodiak was diagnosed with leukemia back in January. And this week, he's back at Sutter Children's for his third round of chemo. He's a strong kid, like a really strong kid. He and his floor mates also fighting cancer are glued to the TV for the Kings' first round playoff series between their own rounds of chemo. I only watched one on my bike. They keep watching and they keep battling just like the pros they all look up to. In Sacramento, covering local news that matters, I'm Mason Morrow, Fox 40 News.